Also tonight, a former, <clears throat> excuse me, a you. former middle school teacher will spend nearly a decade in prison for a fire that terrified a Norfolk neighborhood. The sentence was also stiff for Ryan Elza. He pleaded guilty over the summer in an arson that happened back in 2021 in West Kent. Tonight, we're hearing from the victims who were still traumatized by this crime. And your side's Chris Horn has more from Norfolk. Ryan Elza wanted to apologize for what he did, admitting that what he did was reckless and wrong. But the father of the family was victimized in this arson fire, said he didn't want to hear it. We were extremely, extremely lucky to get out of that house. Patrick McGee did not want any part of an apology from Ryan Elza, the man who set the fire that threatened his family and destroyed their home in two vehicles. He admitted to preparing devices, sneaking up to our home, lighting our cars on fire, knowingly while we were inside of it. That's attempted murder to me. McGee said he had a weird encounter with Elsa just a week before the June 2021 arson fire regarding a vehicle owned by Elsa's wife. Elsa later pleaded guilty to using lighter fluid and charcoal to start a fire beneath a car in the McGee's driveway. They lived on Claremont Avenue. It spread to the home where they were sleeping and watching TV. The McGee's say their two sons are in therapy now. When Elza wanted to apologize directly to Patrick McGee Friday in court, McGee said, I have nothing to say to that person. He tried to kill my children. He says they ask whether Ryan Elza will come hunting us again. There's still some fear, safety concerns. Our main um, priority right now is to reinstill that, that sense of safety that they had prior to June 11. And while Elza was sentenced today to 10 years active time in prison, the case is not over in the courtroom. There will be a restitution hearing coming up in December, and the damages have already been estimated at more than $400,000, not to mention the psychological and emotional damage for the McGee family. In Norfolk, Chris Horn, 10 in your side.